And at Girls Education Unit, our mandate is, is to ensure that girls participate in education and all educational programs. We ensure their access, retention, transition, achievement, and completion. This we do through targeted activities. And we don't do this alone. We have a structure that we follow at Girls Education Unit. We have officers at the regional level. We have officers at the districts and municipal offices. We have officers also responsible for girls' activities in school. We do this through targeted activities and interventions with support from development partners, CSOs, NGOs, and other governmental agencies. Within GES, we have other departments also supporting our activities. For instance, we work closely with guidance and counseling with SHEP, with Special Education Division, with partnership and affiliation with the Science Education Unit. Over the period, we've embarked on a series of activities. So I would like to talk about some of our key activities. We have the support of UNICEF Ghana supporting us with empowering projects. Uh, which is at the north. The project uh, aimed to support girls to transition from JHS to senior high schools. And 1,000 girls were selected from five districts in the north. And they were supported with scholarship packages and then series of activities that will encourage them to stay in school to complete junior high school and to, to transition smoothly to senior high schools. So the projects also aim to bring out their interest in science to encourage girls to participate more in the STEM programs. We have another project down south that is also supported by UNICEF and that is a Better Gender Inclusive Education Project. This project also comes with um, packages for five selected districts down south. We have Wenchi, we have Jabe, we have uh, uh, Makumadan, and we have Vinsma East and Vansman. So these are the areas where we are implementing those five projects. That is the ben Better Gender Inclusive Education Project. So we have also the Life Skills Project in 34 districts, also sponsored by UNICEF Ghana. We also had you know, the same UNICEF Ghana supporting us to build the capacity of our regional girls' offices. That's the 16 regional girls' offices with the four program officers from the headquarters. They were taking through the educational indicators. We had the support of UNESCO Ghana to support us to implement a project in three different districts. That is um, Achuma Kwahuma in Ashanti region, Lower Manya in the Eastern region, and Biakuye in the Uti region. So as part of the projects, we had scholarship packages for girls, we had science clinics, and then we had sensitization on the re-entry guidelines as well. So some of our key achievements. Out of the 1,000 girls on the empowerment project, we have 954 moving on to senior high schools. And we have about 33.9% of them offering STEM programs. Before the implementation of the project, in the five selected districts up north, we, have, we were having, as of 2021, we were having only 686 active clubs. And at the end of 2023, we can now boast of 2,562 active clubs. And we have engaged about 90,706 stakeholders to ensure the effective running of the clubs in the schools. Under the Life Skills Project, about 4,966 science and social studies teachers were also trained to incorporate life skills issues in the teaching of social studies 
to make it interesting for students. We believe this will go a long way to support retention of learners in school. 1,246 teachers and officers were also trained on gender responsiveness. So we have also created a cadre of 880 advocates made up of SMCPT to intensify sensitization on their guidelines on prevention of pregnancy and re-entry at the community level. So far with the re-entry, as of 2022, we have about 5,450 girls going back to school after delivery. As part of the UNESCO Prada projects, and science clinics were organized for the day, three districts on the projects. That is, Achma Kwahuma had the opportunity to bring 600 girls on board for the science clinic. And Lower Manya, we did 480 girls. We are yet to do for OT region, that is Biakuye district. The two that we've done so far, we did in collaboration with the science education unit. So all that we do at Girls Education Unit is to promote positive learning outcomes. This we do mainly through our club activities and then our interventions. When girls are supported, given the needed support, they stay in school. With the scholarship packages, the evaluation of the, uh, the project, that is the impact assessment, the findings indicates that most of the girls were happy, especially with the sanitary part that was given to them as part of the package. And they also identified the role model outreach as one of the best programs that encouraged them to stay in school. Having active club sessions encouraged girls to stay in school. That is where they learn time management, that is where they learn to set their goals. That's where they pick a lot of information to make informed choices, which will go a long way to make them productive and responsible adults in future. <laughs> Chiri, 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 chiri